you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. In the Philippine, and I was in a coffee shop, and there was a guy. He had a Bible in front of him. He was taking notes. So you know, I said, "Let me have a." Obviously, he looked like he's a Christian. So I said to myself, "Let me have a conversation with this uh, brother." So I said to him, "So what are you studying?" And you know, he told me the Bible, and you know, we start talking, and then he said, "I know your voice." <laughs> He said, you do? I heard this voice before. So really. He said, and then he start, and then he says to me, are you Christian friends? You should see what he said, you know, like he was. I said, maybe. Said, what? You know? <laughs> and then he called his wife, and he said, guess who is here? She said to him, what? He said, please guess, guess who is here with me right now in the table. She said, don't tell me Christian Prince. I could not believe it. You know, it was like a candy camera. I said, this is set up. How in the world the wife, she knew that this is a Christian Prince. I was like, what? Because he put her in a speaker. He said, yes, this is a Christian Prince. He said to him, you are closing your mind. You talk about him in the morning, you talk about him at night, you keep watching his videos, and now you think he's with you. He said, honest to God, he is with me. <laughs> That's why she guessed that he's going to say Christian Prince. <laughs> he said, who? Christian Prince? <laughs> and then I, he said, talk, 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 say something. I said, like, we'll say what? He said, yeah, just like now, say, say anything. Did you hear him? She said, I heard little what, what he's, so I talk, I said, hello. She said, this is a joke. I said, how are you doing? I said, so you are really a Christian prince? I said, yeah. Said, what? You know? <laughs> and then he explained to me, because he gave her a headache and she complained. Because he keep talking, did you see what Christian prince said? Did you see what he did? Did you watch this video? So she said to him, okay, I know who is with you now. Must be a Christian prince. Yeah, it was a nice thing, actually. <clears throat> Once I did the seminar in the Philippines, too. At the, we have like a break from the seminar, or I don't I think the break or the end. Anyway, like we are not talking in the stage no more. And two girls, they came, and I was shaking hands with people, you know, introducing themselves. And there's two girls that are waiting for people to slow down, coming to me. And then I said, uh, yes, how I can help you, you know? She said, I have a question. I said, what? I said, are you Christian Prince? <laughs> because they don't introduce me as a Christian Prince, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I said, uh, maybe. She said, see, I told you, this is his voice. She, so, so her and the other girl, they were saying, she told her this is a Christian Prince. She said, no. You know? She said, no, this is him. So after, you know, I finished talking, they come to me and they were like, they want to check. And she said, see, I told you. <laughs> and because I don't sugarcoat things, you know, so when they present me to talk about the topic, the guy will, the priest, or let's say the, uh, the minister of the church, he will stand in the stage, he will say, um, today our guest is kind of a different kind of teacher. You know, he's trying like to explain to them the disaster is going to happen. You know what I mean? Like preparing them for the, <laughs> you know, like he is kind of a different, and like, you know, I'm saying to myself, by the time he present what I will say, the people will leave because he's scaring the hell of them. He is he kind of like, he is not like the ones we used to hear, like you don't sugarcoat things. So you might hear from him some things maybe you don't like or don't used to hear before, like blah, 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 you know. And I was saying to myself, give me the microphone before they leave, man. Like, they will, they will go out. If you continue talking like this, people will leave, you know. 
So like, what? What's this guy will talk about? Like people looking at each other. What will happen now? What is this? You know? Yeah. So like, you know, prepare yourself. He is not like the average normal. <clears throat> You know he is a straightforward you know and then i could not take it this guy because he 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 make it too much so i went to the stage i said i think it's time for me to talk now i guess right it's time for <laughs> he said this is exactly what i'm telling you you see <laughs> let me introduce for you our brother here yeah and then you know after we start talking always most of those churches they were afraid that people will not really have a good reception for the topic but what happened always is the opposite. Each time I go to a church, I get invited by 10 more churches. Because what they do in the seminar, they invite ministers from other churches. So the second I go down from the stage, I'm done. I got right away invitation. When we can have you to come to our church? What date? Can we preserve it for this Sunday or this, etc.? Yeah. So in the beginning, in the beginning, people, they will be like uh, worry. Uh, you know, not sure, you know, because they don't know me much really. But then after, people love it. First, it's a comedy. You will see people dying from laughing, you know. Uh, nobody is uh, yawning, nobody is sleeping, not like in normal seminars, because this is a real comedy. Especially I'm like in person there, you know. I went to a city, I don't know how many Filipinos here. There's any Filipinos? I went to a city, it's called Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines. You enter the airport, you are with ISIS. The mosque is in the corner, in the airport itself. The flag of ISIS is 50 meters away from the airport. You can ask any Filipinos. They told me don't go there. This is where terrorists are all over. And actually not long after, ISIS took over of a city very close to it, it's called Marawi. I don't know if you heard the news. And it took the Filipino army, I think more than a month, to take back the town. So they told me don't go there, this is a lot of terrorists there, you know. And when I arrived to the airport, I found a bunch of Christians, brothers, and they are heavily armed, you know, to protect me. It's like, a, you know, bodyguards. They were nervous, I was not. You know, I trust my Lord, I go. I don't, you know, I'm not really worried. But for them, they were very worried. Uh, and it was a very nice seminar, actually. I have some pictures, actually, of the seminar. Philippines will become an atheist country anytime soon. That is impossible, because if you know the Filipinos, you know that this is not true. <coughs> Filipinos, you know, uh, Filipinos are uh, religious people, and for sure there's good things about good things about every nation, but Filipinos are very nice people, very kind. They have they are good-hearted people, and they are religious. So when you say they will become atheist, I believe this is maybe one of the last countries in the world to become an atheist. Actually, in the Philippines, I have many, many nice friends, and they are some of them, they are famous. Maybe some of you know them. Um, I don't know if uh, Filipinos here, they knew Mary Kiyamo. How many of you know, know uh, Brother Mary? Mary Kiyamo is an actor, and he is a TV host. And I was invited through him to the 700 Club in the Philippines, and I recorded a program with them. I'm sure the Filipinos here, they knew what, who I'm talking about. Very nice people. Last time I went to the Philippines, I met with the many senators. I went with the foreign minister. I met with the founder of the Constitution of the Philippines. He is the vice president of the senators. I, I met with his son. He is a senator now. And he is a vice president of the senator too, which means his father was before him. Uh, I met with the spoken, the, uh, the, the spokesman of the president, Duterte. Uh, he's a spokesman. I mean, I met with many, many important people. Because at that time, they were discussing uh, the peace agreement with the Muslims in the south of the uh, Philippines. And I went there for consulting. 
Have you ever uh, gone teaching Filipinos about Islam during your visit to Philippines? Yes, I did many seminars and thousands of people attended. And actually there's some seminars were very small. I remember once there was a seminar. I don't know what was the occasion that people could not come. So there was only few people. This is the only one I have only few people in the seminar. But usually a lot of people come. And actually, when I do seminars, they don't uh, advertise it. Only one seminar, they put uh, Christian Prince. Only one seminar. The rest, they did not uh, uh, say. Actually, I have a picture of it. They put a big sign. You know, like uh, those long signs. You know, they put it in front of the church. But I don't know what the topic it was. I can find the picture. I have a picture for it. Actually, you know what? Let me find the picture. Hold on. <clears throat> you want to see, guys? <clears throat> this is from a seminar I did in Cagayan do Oro. And actually, you will find right away there's Muslims attending the seminars. <clears throat> uh, there was many Muslims actually attending the seminar. Anyone here from Cagayan de Oro? For sure, if you are from that area, you will know the church I went to. And as you see here, there's a Muslim. She is wearing hijab, a Muslim woman. I don't know if you can see her. You know, they attend the seminar. And there was hundreds and hundreds of people. Let us try something else. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, I mean there is pictures, but uh, uh, I just I wanted to find that picture when they they use they say the Christian prince because usually they don't advertise using the word Christian prince when I go. Ah, so the title was Understanding Islam. Understanding Islam. Then we have to go down everything you wanted to know <clears throat> about Islam but we're afraid to ask uh, and this is, was March 25th Saturday at 8 a.m. multi-purpose hall because they have many you know places uh, with author uh, and apologist expert Christian Prince admission is for free Sorry, it took us some time to find it, but we found it. It was a very long, I mean, that's why I took a picture of it. No, I found it like it was ridiculous long, big, you know, so people can see from far away. And, uh, you know, uh, because usually people who attend seminars, there's fees. So I, I insisted to make it clear that nobody should pay anything when they uh, join us. <clears throat> Yeah. So understanding Islam, everything you wanted to know about Islam, but we are afraid to ask. March twenty fifth. This is this is the good thing about pictures. Here now we remember when even the date was for this thing. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I have Muslims, as I showed you, actually, once a Muslim, he stood, he says, what do you think? I heard that you, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, support Israel. What do you think about Israel taking the land of the Muslims? So I said to him, hey, Abdul, do you have the Quran? He said, yes, I have the Quran. Said, okay, open Quran, chapter 5, verse 21, and read it for us. He said, what? He said, open Quran, chapter 5, verse 21, and read it for us. He opened the Quran. He did read it. I said, see, it was Allah who gave the land to the Jews. This is not your land. You should see his face. <laughs> he was so excited, you know, like, supposedly like he's, he will play victim now, you know, like, you know, the, the, you know, the Jews, they took our land. I said, this is not your land. It's Allah who gave it to the Jews. This is your Quran. Are you against the Quran? 
You should see how he said, I was so disappointed. He, he thought, I'm going to say to him, the Bible says, etc., you know. Well, he could not believe it. The, Bible, the Quran says so? Yes, your Quran. Read it. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. <laughs> he was very disappointed. I, I, I feel sorry for him. Like his head was so like so excited when he started asking, and then he was so unexcited when he read or did read his book. <clears throat> yeah, but you know those seminars are really costly, and I prefer not to do them. You know, a country like the Philippines is a poor country with my, my, my love to all the poor people, which mean I have to pay for my uh, ticket, for my hotels, for my travel, uh, for everything, you know. Uh, and I mean, today we can do it in the Internet. There's no need for me to go anywhere. Right? <clears throat> it is costly, it is tiring, it takes too much work. And here we go, we can take it, we can do it here. Like we have now uh, 1,000 people. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold. To say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure. <clears throat>